Amon Reina here from Sage Investors, and I'm here to get you in the loop about what's going on in the markets. Well, we're starting to see some signs where inflation is starting to taper off and starting to creep downwards. Uh, a couple of recent indicators, the CPI in the U.S., here in Canada, and in England, are showing inflation is starting to come down. And the market has been happy about it because the market's thinking, hey, if inflation's coming down, that means interest rates are probably going to start tracking down, and that's usually conducive to good stock prices. Where are the clues we're seeing, the signs we're seeing in it, besides the indicators, we're seeing in intangible areas like shipping. Shipping costs have now come down quite dramatically. Lumber costs, material costs have come down quite dramatically. And a really a key component is fertilizer costs. Those costs have dropped down quite a bit. And fertilizer costs go down, that means input costs into food should start to, start to uh, uh, taper off a bit. My take on it is, yeah, inflation is coming down, but I think What's going to happen is that we're going to see lower inflation, but I think we're going to get see it at higher levels than we've been typically used to. Central banks are targeting infl inflation rates around 2%. I think inflation rates may settle around 3 to 4%. Why? Well, there's a couple of structural things that are happening. One, we're starting to see regionalization of supply chains. Um, the whole globalization concept is starting to lose a lot of steam, and the pandemic exposed a lot of the flaws in it. We're seeing a transit transition now into more climate friendly te uh, technologies that's going to cost money. And then ultimately, we're still in a pandemic and there's still a lot of traces and residual effects of the pandemic that just haven't been worked through. So right now, the market really hasn't been priced any of this the market is pounding the table for interest rates to come down in 2023. I think it might take a little bit longer than what the market's thinking and ultimately it hasn't been priced in. So that's my take for today. So for more information about uh, some of my other takes, as well as more information about my coaching services, you can check out my website at www.sageinvestors.ca. That's it. Take care. Bye.